Hey church, Pastor Chris here. Hey, can I have your attention for a moment? Thank you. Your attention is a gift. It's one of the most precious things you have. Advertisers, broadcasters, YouTubers, all fight for your attention. It's been said that what you give your attention to is what you are becoming. So what we give our attention to, what we occupy our minds with, is one of the most important things that we do. You know, this past week I read things about the world that made me afraid, uh, some things that made me angry, some things that made me depressed, and some things that just made me shake my head. The news and my social media feed can get me stressed and bothered. But you know what? So much of what happens next in my world and yours is completely out of our control. You can get as angry or as fearful as you want about those things and you still can't change most of them. And yet, you can get occupied with all those things by giving them your constant attention. But something else caught my attention this week. Uh, Psalm 131 is just what I needed when I was getting stressed out by all the voices I was hearing. King David wrote these words. He was a leader, a decision maker, somebody who could make things happen, and he wrote a song that was meant to be sung on the way to worship God. Here's what he said. O oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. Now that's a, begin, uh, that's a reminder not to begin with pride, not to begin from a place of looking down on other people as if we've got it all figured out and as if we can control all the events. The king goes on to say, I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. Here is a national leader recognizing, and we should recognize, that there are things in our world that we can't figure out and that we don't have the power over. There are truly some things that are above your pay grade. And the Bible's advice is this, don't occupy yourself with things like that. If it's beyond your understanding and outside of your control, let it go. Each of us is called to do what we can do to serve God and to serve those around us. David had a job to do, definitely, and so do you. But even King David said, I choose not to occupy myself with things that are bigger than me. Know what he did instead? He said this, I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. Instead of getting agitated and reacting in a frenzy, he intentionally pointed his soul back to the God he worshipped and calmed himself like a child resting in his mother's care. And then he said this, O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. So can I ask you, where is your attention? Where's your hope? What do you choose to occupy yourself with? When you feel stressed out, depressed, agitated, or angry, maybe there's something you can do about it, but before you do anything, stop and worship. Occupy yourself with the God who is in control, who loves you, and who knows what he's doing. Calm yourself like that little child resting in the back seat while mom or dad is behind the wheel. And then, with courage, with conviction, and with calm, do the thing God has called you to do to make a difference. You know, people who do that are people that God can use to change this world.